Hi, it's Arnie here, and today I'm going to show you how to use the Video Change Speed option. So you'll see in this clip that the initial part of the clip is done at regular speed. And in the second part of the clip, I took the action portion and made it slow motion. So let's see how we're going to do that. The first thing I did was download a video from Pixabay. And we're going to expand that here. Now in this video, uh, the end of it actually has a slow motion sequence. So I want to cut that out. So we're going to just go right to the end of where they're landing. Let's say we're about there and I'm just going to cut up to that point. Okay, let's make that a little bit bigger so we can see the entire video. There we go. So the video is about a little over four seconds here. Okay, now when we watch this video, you'll see that there's an action sequence right there that we're going to cut and make that slow motion. So let's find the starting point there. Let's say right about there. So we can't use the speed option in the middle of a video. So what we're going to have to do is actually cut this video into pieces. And how we do that is as follows. I'm going to create a duplicate. And this is the point where we want to start the slow motion. So we're going to take the original video. And I'm going to just cut it right about there. And then we're going to take the duplicate and then slide it in the other direction so they snap together. One thing to keep note of is that the snapping on the timeline must be on. Okay, let's just move the scrub bar forward right to where they land and where we want to stop the slow motion. Oh, let's say somewhere about there. And we create another duplicate. And now we'll take this one here and bring it down to about that point. And this one we're going to snap to here. So now we really have three versions of the video at three different points. So when we play it, it still looks like one video. We're going to leave the front one and the end one alone and we're going to go to the middle one. And now we go over to the side menu here where it says speed. Now what you'll see is that it's at 100% by default. And if we move the slider, as we make it faster, you'll notice that the clip gets shorter. And if we make it slower, the clip gets longer. So I'm going to create a speed here of 35%. And because this is the entire clip here, we're going to take the end portion and again snap it to the end. So that way, the, the both parts are synchronized to each other. So now what we'll have when we play it is the initial part's fast, the middle part is slow down, and it'll speed up again at the end, which is exactly what we want. Now one thing I just want to mention is that to have slow motion, it's best if you can get a video with a higher frame rate, for example, 60 frames per second. It's not necessary, but it just looks a little better. So I hope you enjoyed that, and happy creating!